Today I'm going to show you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old Android phone over to your new Android phone. Now in this video I'm going to be transferring from my Google Pixel 7a to my Google Pixel 8, but the same process will apply to all Pixel phones as well as most other Android phones. And this process will carry over everything you need from your apps to your music, uh, photos, messages, even things like your settings and wallpaper. This is going to save you a lot of time and is essentially going to mirror your old phone over onto your new phone. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you how to safely erase your old phone so that you can then pass it on or sell it without sharing any of your personal data. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, there are a few steps you want to take to ensure this process will go successfully and smoothly. And the first thing you're going to want to do is plug both phones into power. Of course, the last thing we want is for either phone to run out of battery while this process goes on. And depending on how much data you're transferring, uh, this can take quite a while. So having them both plugged into power just ensures this will not happen. Now, the next thing you want to also have ready is your SIM ejector tool right here. So you should have one in the box of your phone. Uh, if you don't have one, or if you've lost it, you can also use something like a paper clip. And this, of course, will be used to transfer over the SIM as we uh, go through the transfer process. Now, for these next steps here, I'm just going to turn off the new phone and focus here on the old phone for one second here we'll go and unlock that and it's a few things you want to check so first of all you're going to want to make sure that your wi-fi and your bluetooth are on and this will be required for your old phone to later then uh, locate your new phone and for them to start pairing so make sure your wi-fi and bluetooth are on next thing we're going to check on the old phone is to go into your settings and make sure that you don't have a software update to do so in the main page of settings here we're going to scroll all the way down to system and then we're going to go over to software updates and you want to make sure that your phone is up to date if whether you have a software update or a security update if you do make sure to do that before we start this process you want your old phone to, to be running the latest version of android that it can possibly support Great. So with those pre-transfer checks out the way with, we can go ahead and get started with the actual transfer process. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, turn on the new phone. So you should see a welcome screen like this. So either press or press and hold the power button here on the side. You should see something uh, similar if you're using a non-Pixel device. And here, of course, it will say welcome to your Pixel phone. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is tap on get started. And here right away, we have the option to either set up using another device or to skip that. Of course, we will be setting up with another device. In this case, we'll be using a Android device, which is our old phone. Uh, as you can see, you can even set up from an iPhone or iPad, but we'll tap on pixel phone or Android device. And at this, uh, at this point, a uh, QR code is going to show up on the new phone. And what we're going to want to do is unlock the old phone and we should get a pop up like this. Now, in case this pop up doesn't show on your old phone, first of all, you want to make sure that again, your Wi Fi and Bluetooth are turned on as we showed earlier in the video. Uh, but if it still doesn't show what you can do is restart your old phone, make sure they're close together. And that should make sure uh, that the pop up will show. And then once we have this pop up here, we're going to tap on set up and right away it's going to start connecting and pairing the two phones and now we're asked to scan this QR code so we're going to lift up the old phone here and then we're going to simply put that QR code into frame and there we go the old phone uh, will then vibrate and as you can see they are now connecting now this may take a second you'll see it's also connecting up to my Wi-Fi network uh, and this is what will be used to transfer the data once we get to that step all right, so at this stage, it's going to ask to verify that it is you by typing in the passcode that you use to unlock your old phone. Now, this will also be the same passcode uh, that will be used to unlock your new phone once all the data is carried over. So we're going to type in the passcode. By the way, make sure to never use a passcode like this on your phone. And here we go. At this stage, we're going to be moving over the SIM card from the old phone over to the new phone so that we can connect it to our mobile network. So we're going to take out the SIM injector tool here that we have ready uh, and then go over to the old phone and then simply put that into the side here, into the uh, ejector tray, pull that out, and that will then reveal the tiny little SIM card. Uh, I remember back in the day, these used to be much larger. Uh, go ahead and put the empty tray back in, and then we're gonna put that in to the new phone. There we go. Perfect. All right. So once this is in, we are going to reframe the phones and here we go. So up next, we're going to set up the uh, fingerprint sensor. This is one of the very few things that actually won't transfer over from your phone. And that's because this is actually stored on a different chip within the phone to be more secure. So you have to reset this uh, up again, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and do that. We'll tap on more here, scroll down, tap on agree, and we'll quickly set up this new fingerprint. So I suggest using, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to use my left thumb. If you're right-handed, use your right hand and you want to simply place lift and uh, place your finger repeatedly to sort of fill the circle. Uh, at certain points, you'll be directed to do either a certain edge 
of your finger, a uh, more specific part, but just go ahead and lift and then repeatedly place to fill the circle. There we go. We got the check mark and we have the fingerprint is now added. Now we also have the option to add another fingerprint. You may want to add an index finger or your other hand. We'll skip that for later or leave that for later and tap on next. Now here we have the crucial step, copy data from your Android device. We'll go ahead and tap on next here. And right here, it's going to start putting all the data together uh, so that we can see what we want to copy as we have the option to copy everything, which is what we're going to be doing today. But we can also select specifically what we want to leave in or leave out. If say you are uh, already full of storage on your, uh, your old phone, you don't want to immediately fill up your new phone, you can leave out certain things. Well, I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, but right now, it's just going to curate this data so that we can decide. And here we go. So this is exactly uh, what I was talking about. We get a really nice list here uh, of all the data that it's going to carry over. Now, in this case, you can see I don't have a lot of data. Uh, I have 4.4 gigabytes to be more specific here. Uh, but by default, it's going to select everything. So for my apps to my movies, uh, my videos, photos, uh, even your settings, call history, uh, other things like messages would all be listed here if you have those. Now, I don't have much on this phone, but of course, it's going to show everything that's available on that phone. And we're going to make sure that everything is selected and then we'll tap on copy. And here we go. So it's now going to start copying the data data uh, in the background. But while this, start, uh, while this starts copying over on the new phone, we have a few Google settings to go through here. Now, uh, quickly before we go on with this, I just want to talk about how long this will take. I've had some questions about this in the past, and this will really vary on two things. First, of course, the size of your transfer, right? How much data are you carrying over? Is it going to be relatively uh, little like this four gigabytes on my phone? Or are you talking about like 100 plus gigabytes? Uh, and that's going to definitely take a lot longer. Now, the second big factor is, of course, your Wi Fi speed. This is going over Wi Fi. So in my case, I have a pretty good Wi Fi connection. Uh, and you combine that with the relatively small amount of data, it should only take a minute or two. But if you have that larger uh, file size, and again, a lot of content, and a perhaps not as fast Wi Fi connection, uh, this can take several hours. And that's really why we plug them in the charger, because I've seen uh, transfers where it can take five, six hours, this is normal, uh, if your data, if you really have that much data. So prepare for this to take a little while, if you have a lot to carry over. But for now, we're going to leave this on in the background. Uh, and then let's go over to the new phone and run through these Google settings here. So first, uh, we can scroll through and manually turn off or turn on uh, which things we want to opt in or out of. Personally, I like to turn all these on with exception to diagnostics and data. This is, of course, personal preference. I don't really like to have this on. So we'll go ahead and tap on accept here. Uh, here we have the option to view the warranty specific to the country that we are in. Uh, so I'm in the UK right now. I can tap on that to read the warranty. Uh, for me, that's not really necessary. We'll go ahead and tap on next. And then here we have the option to continue the setup for a few more Google services. There's one thing that I do want to show you here. So we'll tap on continue. Uh, and then first here we have the option to turn on or off the uh, Google Assistant. So this is something that uh, I definitely enjoy using. But one thing I really suggest you turn off is the ability to use Assistant without unlocking your phone. Now there's two reasons for this. One really is from a safety and security perspective. Um, there's a lot you can do with Google Assistant, like send messages, right, return calls, etc. Uh, I wouldn't want anyone to be able to do that whenever my phone is unlocked. So my phone is lost or stolen, uh, basically anyone who's not me, uh, I wouldn't want them to be able to access my assistant. So uh, turning this off will make sure that that doesn't happen. And secondly, it's also great for battery because once you have this on, it's actually going to have your microphone running 24 seven to listen for that activation phrase. I'm not going to say it out loud now, but you know what I'm talking about to trigger, uh, to trigger the assistant. So if you go ahead and turn this off, it won't be constantly listening in the background either. And that really saves you a fair bit of battery. So I suggest you turn that off, go ahead and tap on I agree. And then here we have a voice match to use this uh, the activation phrase here. That's something I generally keep on and then we'll tap on agree. And up next, we have the option to set up Google Pay. So you can go in and add in your cards. Uh, this is something I'm going to skip for now. Now you can, of course, do this later in settings as well. Uh, and then here we have a final screen here just to pick up specific things that we want to uh, want to set up as well. For example, some features, uh, all this again, you can do later. One that I do like to show, particularly during this transfer process here is to review additional apps. And this is going to show you uh, additional applications that it will be automatically downloading over to your phone. You can uncheck any ones that you maybe don't want to use or don't need. Uh, specifically, I find these are often and uh, manufacturer specific apps. So here we have a lot of Google apps. If you're uh, transferring a Samsung phone, you'll get a lot of Samsung apps and you can decide here whether you want to transfer those. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and tap OK because of course we can remove them all later. And just quickly here, before we finish up on the new phone, you'll see that on the old phone, it does already show that all the data has transferred over. This is really great to see, but let's just quickly finish up on the new phone uh, before we can fully start using it. So here we have the option to stay up to date with Google offers. Uh, no, thank you. I already get enough emails every day. Uh, and here we go. So we get an overview of what it has copied. So we got all the applications, all your photos, videos, settings, etc. Go ahead and tap on done. And here we go. Getting the phone ready. We'll give this a minute or two. And all set. Awesome. So here we go. What we can do now is we can swipe to go home and look at that. If we close this here on the old phone, 
identical. We have the same wallpaper, the same apps, the same widgets. Uh, everything here is identical. Even the same toggles will be uh, available here in the menu depending on your settings. So uh, the only difference here at the moment is you can see some apps are grayed out and this is because they'll still be downloading in the background. Uh, don't worry, this won't take very long uh, and it will automatically populate those as we go. Same with certain widgets. I should have a widget here uh, that will all come in time once these final things are uh, downloading in the background. But already you can see that we pretty much have the identical uh, layout here, basically a mirrored version of your old phone to your new phone. Exactly. Uh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, even things like your settings, for example. So just to show you, uh, if we go into the display settings, you'll see that those two are the same, your screen out time, your brightness levels, everything will be carried over just as it was. Another thing I want to show is, for example, my photos. You will see here on the old phone, I have this album here of various photos. Those will now already be on the new phone as well. So I open up the photos app. Here you go. As you can see, everything will have been carried over. So these applications are slowly downloading in the background. Uh, if we go to the app drawer here, you'll see everything is filling up. We have all the photos, we have the widgets, uh, the, the, the layout, the settings, the wallpaper, everything is carried over, which is great to see. Now I've had some questions specifically about logins. So some logins will automatically carry over and log you in automatically, specifically Google applications. So if I launch YouTube here, uh, you will see that. Let's give that a second here. Refresh that real quick. You'll see that I am automatically logged into my account because I already was on my previous pixel. However, with third party applications such as uh, Instagram, which hasn't downloaded just yet, but you'll see that if I open that, I do need to log in. Now, uh, if you use Google's password manager, all your passwords should be stored under your Google account and you can be able to select them from there and instantly log in like so. Wonderful. So now that we've transferred everything from the old phone over to the new phone, what we can do is go ahead and erase the old phone to then uh, safely sell it or give it away to a family member or friend uh, without passing on any of your personal data. However, I do only suggest you do this once you make sure that everything is safely transferred over and that you're completely happy with everything. Now, generally speaking, this all goes fine, but you never know. It's always good to have the backup just in case. So my advice would be to wait a day or two after transferring just to make sure uh, that everything's carried over successfully and that there's nothing on your old phone that you still want. But once this is the case, and once you've confirmed everything is good, uh, we can go ahead and erase the old phone. So let me go in and show you how that is done. We're going to jump into settings here. And then over on the main screen of settings, we're going to scroll down to where we find system. And then scroll all the way down to reset options. And then we're going to tap on erase all data factory resets. I'm going to tap on erase all data. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but once you do this, you'll be asked to enter your password of your phone. It will then only take a few minutes and then your old phone will be completely restored and it'll actually bring you back to the same screen that we saw over on the new phone when we started this process. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. I'll do my best to read and get back to as many as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and take care.